Welcome back to Consultant Etiquette 101. I'm going to talk today about appropriate content relayed by a consultant. So here we're going to go into a little bit more detail. It's going to be a tiny bit longer here. Let's see if I can get this all packed into one little video, even if I could talk really fast, I, which I could, but then you can't understand me apparently. So, okay. So consultant etiquette 101, we're going to talk right now about appropriate content on page 13 of the Sensei standards, which I want all of you to go and read. Like I said, resources tab, type in standards. It's going to come up really, really great read for you. It's so simple. It simplifies the policies and procedures that Sensei has. It's going to tell you a lot of things that you, um, how to run your business is basically what it's going to tell you. And it's really, really helpful. And if you have any questions, don't forget to hit me up with that. Okay. All right. So consultant etiquette regarding appropriate content. Now I'm going to read this straight out of here because I don't want to mess it up with my words, but when you are representing yourself as an independent Sensei consultant, you may not Number one, use rude, offensive, or vulgar content in any advertising or Sensi sponsored online forum. Okay, so that applies to anywhere that you're going to have any kind of advertising for Sensi. And uh, that's included, I mean, that's really, if anybody looks at you as a Sensi consultant is on your Facebook page, I'd be aware of putting your own things on there as well, okay? Um, and please definitely don't put it on your independent consultant page if you have one on Facebook. Number two is dis you, you may not disparage Sensi or other Sensi consultants, Sensi products, the compensation plan, or Sensi's board of directors, officers, or employees. So what exactly does the word disparage mean? In case you're wondering, it means to represent as being of little worth. So when you're talking badly about another consultant, what you're doing is you're representing them as of little worth because you're bashing them. That's not fair. Okay. Uh, you're undervaluing them. You're belittling them. That's not, that's, it's not appropriate. It's not appropriate. <sighs> Excuse me. Content. It's not appropriate content. <laughs> as a Sensi consultant, it's not good etiquette. Okay. So that is one thing that I want to address that. Um, you are not allowed to say things about like that about other consultants. It's inappropriate. It really is. And the determination of appropriate, inappropriate content is solely at the discretion of Sensi. Now, what happens if these things are, are done is they can be subject to disciplinary action. Number one of which would be suspending your account. Number two would be canceling. So number one, let's say they suspend your account. Now your customers have to go somewhere else for all their orders and stuff. You don't want that. You don't want to have to do that. And then when you get it back, now all your customers have another consultant. That would not be a very good thing. So you don't want to have these terms of action taken against you. And the other one is canceling your account. If they find it to be inappropriate and it's in the Sensi standards and they can take disciplinary action, they can actually cancel your Sensi account. And we don't want that either. Now, if you think that you cannot adhere to the Sensi standards or to the core values that Sensi holds, simplicity, authenticity, and generosity, if you can't adhere to that, there's no shame in saying, I don't want to be a Sensi consultant anymore. There really isn't. You can call Sensi, you can email them, let them know that you want to cancel your account. But if you want to stay part of the Sensi family, which I want you to be a part of the Sensi family, you are valuable. You really are. Each team member in our, in our group is so respected. And that, and I want that for everyone. I don't want that just for, you know, one or two people. I want that for our entire team. So if you want to remain a part of our Sensi family, please take these things to heart and let's, you know, talk about that. If you have any problems or issues that you need to have dealt with, please talk to me. I'd rather you deal with me and that we can get things straightened out so that you can be on the up and up with consultant etiquette and making sure that you are following the rules and not um, subject to disciplinary action. I don't want anyone to have to be subject to that because I know the value of Sensi in my life. What a blessing it is in my life to have. The relationships that I have with you guys are just phenomenal. I mean, I have relationships with my cousins that I didn't have before, relationship with them because of Sensi. I think it's pretty cool. I really do. So consultant etiquette 101, please, please do not use rude, offensive or disparaging comments, you know, about other Sensi consultants. It's not professional. It's not, you know, appealing to other people as well. And uh, if you're talking badly about someone else, 
you know, to your customers, your host, or other consultants on the front line, anything like that, it really does put you in a bad light, and we don't want that. So, Consultants Etiquette 101, there you go.